is. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Look at that. Look at this. That's a tank, son. <laughs> that might be my TV right Good job, there, bro. Brother. Woo! Bro, sweet. Flip that bad boy. Damn, Rob. that's gorgeous. All right, ladies and gents. Another adventure today off to Glen Helen. Going to do a lot of mini jig fishing. See if we can get into some of them trout. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Seconds, yeah. There you go. My man. Got him. There you go. Nice pro. That's thick. <laughs> she doesn't want to come in. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's a nice one, bro. Yeah, not bad. Good way to start the day. Oh, yes. Let's get some more of those. Bad. Yeah, let's get another one. <laughs> All right, well, we got a lot of folks out here fishing, but uh, fishing's been very slow. I know there's a bunch of fish in here, and I've seen some big ones pulled out here and there, but uh, the bite is definitely uh, sporadic. Um, using all kinds of different stuff worms power bait all different kinds of jigs um just trying to coax them i don't know what the deal is i know the fish are in here i mean they put a, a hell of a lot of fish in here so uh we'll keep trying and uh hopefully we get into something That's yeah, bigger than five, probably. Bro, were you using power bait? Yeah, power <laughs> bait. Oh, nice. Yeah. What color? Got him. Uh, the green. The pale garlic? Yeah. yeah. I got a scale. That's a nice fish. Yeah, that's way him. 
All right. Uh, so what'd you get it on? On Benton Green Power Bait. And what did it weigh? 6.2. Outstanding. Thank you, sir. Nice. It's a mermaid. Nice oh, pulling some drag. Yeah. Oh yeah, there he is. Yeah, it's a tank. Yep. Here you want to bring this one in? Paul, bring this one in. Get some rocks. He's over here. You got some rocks? Where you at? There you are. He's over here. Yeah. It's that rainbow sparkle. Yeah, just uh, don't horse them. Yeah, the pelicans are way out, so they aren't going to come up this close. They're too scared. Well, on this one, Mike, the camera's actually working, so. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. <laughs> I was actually watching fucking uh, videos on how to prevent that from happening to your GoPro in the future. <laughs> yeah. Frustrating. Mm -hmm. Just can't see him. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I can't. The fluorocarbon can't even see the line. Yeah, stay up here yet because I don't want him to get in these weeds right here. He'll break off in these roots. Where's he at? Can you see your line? Okay, I see a boil there. Yeah, where's he coming? Right in front of me? Oh, there he is. All right. Get up here closer, Mike. I'm afraid you're gonna we're gonna drag him into these roots. He's gonna break off right in front of us. All right. Oh yeah. Here, you want to get me my net? It's bigger. Yeah. Bigger and longer. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Look at that. Both the brothers bring them in big That's a tank, son. <laughs> That might be my PV right job, there, brother. bro. Woo! Bro, sweet. Flip that bad boy. Damn, Rob. that's it's, gorgeous. Slip up here in the grass. Fucking nice. Look uh, at all the purple cool. down the side of it. We're gonna have to weigh them, dude. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you got me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, bro. Today was yeah. our day. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Good deal. I didn't think it was gonna be worth the shit, and it's. Yeah, right, look at that. It's a car yeah. sweet fish, bro. <laughs> Nice. Looks like he got it. Looks like he got a back injury on his tail here. Oh, lad, look, look at it's that! It's kind of broken. A trip. Good-looking fish. If 
five pounds, eleven ounces. Five pounds, twelve ounces. Oh, you got me by a fucking half a pound, bro. Dude. <laughs> nice. All right, ladies and gents. Well, there you have it. Uh, slow day, but a good day, Glen Helen. Uh, first time there, so it was uh, interesting to check out the lake. Uh, it was awesome. I mean, uh, Paul and Mike uh, got those big dogs. They're both of their PBs, both brothers. Uh, great time. It's going to be a good memory. But uh, water clarity was really bad. I mean, it looked like uh, watered down hot chocolate. It was really dark. And uh, I don't know if that's normal for there or what, but uh, the trick was once we started getting a more consistent bite towards the end there is we uh, shortened up our leaders. And I mean, when I say short, we were about six to 10 inch leaders, very, very short. And then we started getting bit a little bit more consistently. Um, I think it just came down to the, uh, the trout are in there. They just uh, were only biting if it was right in front of their face. They just happened to run into it. And they were uh, doing these short hits and uh, sometimes we weren't hooking up. But uh, um, I saw at least three big trout get broken off and are still in those waters. So uh, I'd get out there. From what I understand, uh, DFG stocked it that week as well as uh, Calaveras. So it got a double plant in both those lakes. So it is absolutely packed to the gills with, uh, with trout. So I would get out there. The bite's bound to pick up uh, as the water clears up. So uh, uh, make the trip. It's, uh, it's worth it. They're putting some quality fish in there. So till next time, uh, always uh, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, this week, Diamond Valley's having a big plant. Plan on heading out there for that. And then uh, may do a little Santa Ana Lakes, uh, River Lakes action on Friday. So uh, hopefully uh, we'll be out there. Maybe we'll run into you. Always remember to say hi. Till next time, tight lines.